Hi, the topic is merge sort. So for understanding merge sort, first of all, we should know what is merging. So let us know about merge, that is merging. See, merging is a process of combining two sorted lists into a single sorted list. So if I have two lists, let us say A is one list, B is one list with some set of elements like now there are two lists given and I have taken equal sizes. They can be of different size also, but they are sorted. Now let us see how we can combine them such that the result is also sorted. So I'll prepare a third list that is C. These lists can be in array also or they can be in linked list also. So irrespective of data structure, just we are looking at two lists. Now let us understand how to combine them. So for each list, I need some index pointer. Let us take i here and j here and k for this c list, which is in the beginning of empty list. Now procedure starts. The procedure for merging is like this. Compare a of i with b of j. If a of i is smaller, then copy that one here. And the element which is copied there, you move index. And this index also moves to next location. Now next, compare a of i with b of j. This is smaller than this one. So copy this element and move to next element here. And here also move to next free location. Continue. A of i with b of j, 8 is smaller, copy this one. Then move to next. And move k also to the next. In the same way, if I continue now, 9 is smaller, 9 is copied, then it will move to the next one. Then 12 and 15, 12 is smaller, 12 is copied. Then it will move to next one here and 15 and 17. So 15 is a smaller. Then it will come to this one. I will move here and these two are compared. 17 is a smaller. And finally, K will be on the next free space. And I is still here. J has crossed the list. Now we can see that one of the list has finished. Now remaining elements are there in one of the list. Here in example, list A is having some remaining elements. So simply copy those remaining elements. So that's it. I got a third list that is with the sorted elements. So we have combined two lists by comparing the elements from one each list and whichever is smaller we have copied them and we got a sorted list. This process is merging. The property of this process is that if two lists are already sorted, then the result is sorted. So the important thing is the result is sorted. Now let us look at the time taken by this process. If I say this list is having m number of elements and this list is having n number of elements, then what is done here? m elements and n elements are copied here. So this list is having m plus n element. So what we did, just we compare the elements and we have written the list here. So the amount of time taken for moving the data from here to there is theta of m plus n. Though the time complexities are written just using variable n. But for merging, we use theta of m plus n. So this resemble becomes a notation for merging. m plus n means, okay, merging is being done there. So this has become like a notation for merge. Now we have understood merging. I will write on the algorithm or a procedure for merging. What the procedure I have shown you, same thing, I will write on the code there. Algorithm. merge which takes list A and B and their sizes M and N.
Algorithm merge is taking two list A, B and let us say M and N. It depends whatever you like, you can pass the parameters. It depends on you. Now, what we are doing here? We have taken I that is at beginning place and J also at beginning place and K also at beginning place. Initially, if you remember, that means I is 1, J is also 1 and K is also 1. So I am starting the indices from 1 onwards, not like C, C++ where we start from 0 onwards. So for making it simple, I am starting from 1 onwards. Now what is the procedure? We compare A of I with B of J. So if A of I is less than B of J, then in C of K, I should copy A of I. If this is smaller, copy this one and move i and k also. So k plus plus and i plus plus. If this is not smaller, this is smaller, else in c of k plus plus, copy b of j plus plus. This process will continue. That's what we have seen. Compare them and copy whichever is smaller. So this process will continue. How long? As long as i is less than or equal to m and j is less than or equal to n. The size of the list is m and the size of this list is n. This process will continue. And once this process complete, this loop completes, we know that any one of the list will have some remaining elements. Like in our example, 18 was remaining in the first list. So I should copy the remaining elements. So we don't know in which list the elements will be remaining. Maybe in A or maybe in B. See, if suppose here I have few more elements, 18, 19, 25. So there are three elements. So I is pointing here. From here onwards, I should copy all the elements. Means wherever i is pointing, I should copy all the elements. Or else, here I may be having some elements. 19, 25, 30. So j may be here. So wherever j is, I should copy rest of the elements. So here I write, for wherever i may be, don't initialize it. Let it be at the same place, wherever it is. And i is less than or equal to m, i plus plus. And in C of K plus plus, copy A of I. So I plus plus is already there. So just I am saying copy the remaining elements from list A to list C. Otherwise, if there are some remaining elements in second list, then copy the remaining elements from second list. This procedure for merging here this procedure this while loop is for comparing and copying the elements then the first for loop is if there are any remaining elements in list a copy them to list c in for loop is if there are any remaining elements in list b copy them into list c this is merging now let us see if there are more than two list then how merging is done let me take two more than two list now here I have multiple lists. Let us see how I can merge them. So I can compare first elements of all these lists and copy the one which is very smaller. So as a 2 is a smaller, so I can copy in the final list as a 2. Then as this is taken, now I should go on to the next element of this list. Now the smaller one is 3. Copy this 3. Now as I have already taken this one, then I should go to next element of this list. So I should compare 4, 5, 8, 4. And this 4 is smaller, 2 are there, so I can copy the first one. So now this is completed, so I should go to next element here. So I should compare 6, 5, 8 and 4 and whichever is minimum I should take that. So in this way I can compare all the elements, first one one element from each list and take the minimum one. So at a time I am merging multiple lists together. How many lists? four list i am merging together so this method if i take example four then this will be called as four way merging 
it will be called as four way merging so as four list so four way merging so as many list you have and if you are following this procedure then it is called as m way merging it is m way merging if i am merging just two list at a time see here i was trying to merge all four list together at a time if i merge just two list at a time then it is called as two way merging and mostly we follow this method two way merging so let us see if i have these four list how i can merge them by following two way merging not two way merging i can take two list and get one list so that will be 3 4 5 6 9 and 12 and i will take these two list and get one list that is 2 4 8 10 16 and 18 now i have two list and i can merge these two into a single list so one merge then second merge then third merge so four list are there so i have to take pair of two list at a time pair of list at a time and merge them so i have to perform merge three times this is one way the other way is suppose i just take this one a b c d four list star there i can merge these two and get one list list one then i can merge these two then i can get second list then i can merge these three these two and i can get third list or else if a b c d are list given they can merge these two and get first list and merge these two and get second list then i can merge these two and get third list so i have various options available here i can first merge a with d or a with c also more than one possible patterns of merging are there so when you follow two way merging and you have multiple lists then you can merge them in various patterns so we have learned that multiple list can be merged in various patterns now let us look at two way merge sort there are two merge sort method one is two way merge sort other one is just a merge sort mostly people get confused with the two way merge sort and merge sort actually there is a minor difference between them two way merge sort is a iterative process repeating procedure that is using loop and merge sort is a recursive procedure a recursive algorithm let us talk about two way merge sort already i have explained you m way merging or two way merging m merging means you can merge more than two list that is m list at a time but two way merge is two list are taken at a time and they are merged so we'll follow that one for sorting the numbers here a list is given array is given array is having eight elements and i have to sort the array but i have to sort this using merge process so how i can merge i need at least two arrays for merging and that must be sorted but this single array is given and even that is not sorted so what i can do is i will assume that each element in the array is a list so there are eight list containing one element in each list each list is having just a single element so if there is a single element then it means it is already sorted so yes can i merge them yes i have to merge eight lists into a single sorted list so that's how i will merge all of them shall i merge all of them together no i will follow two way merge method so using two way merge i will merge them into a single list that will be a sorted list so let us do i'll select first two list actually these are two elements but i am calling them as two list merge them so what i get 3 is smaller than 9 so i got one list that is merging of those two is done i got a single list with two elements then i'll merge these two 5 and 
now I got one more list with two elements next I'll merge these two so I get four and six and same way two and eight two is smaller than eight so I have merged these two and I got a sorted list of two elements so I got such sorted list of two two elements each now there were eight lists now I have four list I have completed all the elements so this is first pass one pass is completed I have gone through all n elements now one more thing if there were nine elements then ninth element will not have pairing with anybody so that will come directly right so don't worry if there are odd number of elements then that will simply come here and that may get merged sometime later and one more thing when I am merging them where I am keeping the elements they are not kept in the same array A definitely when you merge two lists you need to store it in a third list that is third array so here I have two lists in a single array so after merging I need one more array B where I will be keeping this result so remember that when you merge the result has to be kept in a separate array but I want the result in A only okay copy copy it back from B to A so if there is an array list if there is an array A then the elements are merged and we get the result in B then all these elements will copy them back to A so again the list are in A only this is what we do so I am not showing it here programmatically it can be done now I have four lists I have to merge them so four list I'll pick up two so two list each with two two elements merge these two so the smaller is three the next is five the next is seven the next is nine so I have done merging I got one list of four elements then merge these two so two is the smallest and then four then six then eight now I have two list of four element each and I have completed one more pass means I have gone through all the elements so this is second pass now I have just two list I have to merge them and I get a single list now with two is the smallest then three then four five six seven eight nine that's it now I got a single sorted list this was the third pass that's it now the elements are sorted finally you can keep these elements back in array a so single array of eight elements is sorted by using merge process and that too we are using two-way merging that is we are merging two lists at a time now let us do some analysis how much work is done in each pass so I am merging n elements in this pass and again merging n elements in this pass so together total n elements are merged here so actually 8 element 8 is n here how many times this is done how many times it is done 3 times 8 elements 3 times so if you see this one 8 elements were there 8 lists were there they are divided and we got 4 so they are divided by 2 and we got 4 list again they are divided by 2 then we got 2 list again that 2 is divided by 2 so we got 1 list so finally this is 1 so how much this is 8 is divided by 2 raised to 3 that is becoming 1 list finally we have stopped when it became 1 list so this is 8 is equals to 2 power 3 so how many passes 3 passes 3 passes so this is log 8 base 2 that is 3 so it means log of 8 gives me 3 so I can know the number of passes by taking log of that number of elements so it means how many passes are required number of passes are number of passes log n whatever the number of elements are now in each pass n merges are there and likewise log n passes are there 
सो टोटल टाइम इज एन इन टू लॉग एन यस आई कैन टेक इट एज थीटा बिकॉज देर इज अ क्लास अवेलेबल फॉर दिस फंक्शन एन लॉग एन सो द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर टू वे मॉस हॉट इज एन लॉग एन दिस इज द वर्किंग ऑफ टू वे मॉस हॉट 